Hi, welcome to the first episode of Burlington Buzz, where we share essential information and events, bring you local perspectives, and speak with representatives around Burlington. I'm your host, Charlotte Hancox, a public communications major at the University of Vermont, keeping Burlington connected. Let's meet our team. Thank you so much, Charlotte. My name is Julia Ganley, and I'm a public communication major, and I'm going to be behind the camera for Catamounts on the Street, so this is the only time you're going to see me, and now I'm going to pass it off to Claire. Awesome. Thank you so much, Julia. You're the best camera woman I've ever met. My name is Claire Montgomery. I'm a double major in public communication and community entrepreneurship, and I'm going to be in front of the camera for Catamounts on the Street. Hi, um, I'm Mia. I'm a public communications major and I'm working on some of the behind the scenes stuff of the show like the editing. Hi, my name is Kira Schaefer. I am a senior public communications major at the University of Vermont and I'm from Westchester, New York. Yay! And I'm super excited to be part of the CCTV team. Hi, I'm Maggie. I am a public communications major at the University of Vermont and I'm f originally from Silver Spring, Maryland, and I'm very excited to be working on this project with my fellow team. Today, we will be talking about the upcoming elections and registration. Our reporters, Kira and Maggie, visited downtown to speak with local residents regarding their opinions on the election. Hi, it's Kira, and I'm with Maggie behind the camera, and today we're going downtown to talk to local people about elections, the debate, and voting registration. Are you guys registered to vote in the state of Vermont or at home? I am, yes. I'm registered in New Jersey. I am, yep, I am registered to vote in Vermont, and I live in Burlington. <laughs> did you guys all watch the debate? Or Yeah. We did. We did. Yes. I did not, no. I actually didn't. I like couldn't bring myself to. I knew I was going to see a lot of stuff about it after, and I kind of knew Kamala was going to just like destroy Trump, so yeah. I, I opted out. So from seeing all the content after the debate, what are your thoughts about it right now? I, uh, I think it was really cool that... Trump was on the defense the whole time like Kamala put him in that position where he wasn't able to like always talk over her. I mean after the debate like after like watching clips of it I feel hopeful for her um, but also you never know. Also just from the very beginning how she instantly walked in and went a beeline towards her yeah. was like you're gonna shake my hand today. I think that just kind of yeah, showed a lot. Very, powerful. Mm -hmm. very passionate too. Yeah. It seems like everything else kind of divisive. It seems like folks who support one person really um, wanted to kind of make sure that their story was getting across, does that make sense? Like, people are so stuck in their beliefs that they will not listen to, like, not even, like, an opposite opinion, but just, like, yeah. a different take or a more nuanced way of looking at things. It's, like, all or nothing. And I'm like, well, that's not really how we get yeah. to pro- Like, you need that passion, but sometimes you gotta kind of yeah. find that any... middle ground or else you're gonna radicalize but... yourself. <laughs> sure. I liked Kamala's reaction to quite literally anything and everything Trump said. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, how it was all like it's just not true yeah. or she would laugh I thought it was pretty funny kind of like it feels like kind of a sick joke like we have this like very qualified like um, exceptional candidate in Kamala Harris who like obviously knows what she's doing and then we have like a literal clown um, who's like able to just like be on like the biggest political stage just because he wants to which feels like a sick joke. <laughs> yeah. um, so it's a little bit like dystopian and yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I guess do you have any advice or like information you want to tell to like undecided voters or young voters that are still kind of feeling out who they want to vote for? Sure. I would just say definitely do your research and definitely vote. Um, I think it's a very unique privilege we have here in the States. And no matter who you end up voting for, it's definitely an exciting opportunity to get your voice heard and the know, government. I think you just have to pick an issue or two that you're most passionate about and vote along those lines, especially in like a two-party system, you're never mm. going to be fully aligned. So whatever matters to you most, you should vote along those lines. But he <laughs> is on the fence, I guess, just like, think of like the future of the world as a whole. Say listen to someone who opposes you and understand, mm. like yeah. we were saying, understand why they oppose you. Because personally, like I've been trying to do that recently and it's mm. not fun. No. I don't like think it's fun, yeah. but it is nice to be like, oh, okay, Maybe I was wrong, or maybe I mm -hmm. was a little too radical, like you can't right. afford yeah. whatever I wanted to do. Thank you all for listening. That's all for now. Back to you, Charlotte. The voter registration deadline is November 5th. If you haven't yet, remember you can still register in person at the clerk's office, online with the link provided, or by mail. 
At UVM, reporter Claire and Julia are asking students how they plan to participate in the upcoming election. So I have a couple of questions for you. Um, first, are you registered to vote? I am. Yes, I am. I am registered to vote. I am registered to vote. Hell yeah! I am registered to vote. Of course I am. I am. I just registered to vote in Vermont. I switched from Connecticut so I could vote here. Awesome. And are you planning to vote in person or by mail? In person. Yay, that's super exciting. Is this your first time voting for presidential office election? It is. Yay. It is. Yay. It is. I'm very excited. I'm very yeah. Excited. It is, which is exciting. It is my first time voting. I'm very excited. My birthday was a week after the election. Oh, no last time so I'm really excited. That's so awesome. Speaking of the presidential election, you probably saw that the main two candidates, Donald Trump and Kamala Harris, recently debated. Were you able to tune in and do you have any thoughts or opinions? Um, yes, I did tune in. It was hilarious. Don't know if it was a debate or if it was Kamala saying uh, words and Trump saying a whole lot of nothing. It was definitely a crazy watch, really different kind of vibe than every other debate I've seen. I didn't really understand what was going on the whole time. I thought Kamala did a great job. She is experienced. She knows policies. I've read a few of her things. Like, she did a great job, I thought. It was, like, interesting because I was, like, kind of, like, there for more policies and not, like, arguing. I thought it was, um, I thought it was entertaining, but neither of them really answered any questions. I feel like they need to answer some questions. Yeah. So do you want to see a second debate? Sure. I don't think it's going to happen, but it would be good. I would love to see another debate, just I don't see the harm in it. I think I would like to see one because then I can see if they're not going to argue. Because, like, who wants a president that argues? But I would love to tune into a second debate. I think that was the most entertaining thing I've ever watched. Um, I think a second debate would be great. I think there were a lot of, like, really important topics, at least to me, that were kind of, like, not asked about or talked about enough. So I think a second debate would open up uh, for a lot of new questions. I mean, honestly, I don't really think there's a need for it. Um, I don't think he'll be very down to do it. He yeah. said that he wasn't really happy with the <laughs> idea of it. Yeah. But um, it would be fun for entertainment's sake, but not for the sake of our country. Right. Go register to vote. Yeah. Let's go. So my last question for you on a more fun note, Indigo D'Souza is coming to campus on Friday to perform. Yeah. First, are you excited? Second, are there any other musical artists you want to see on UVM's campus? Um, I'm so excited. It's going to be awesome. And I, it seems like everyone's going to show up and show out for it. So love that, Coachella. I'm very excited, but also very excited to see Soap the band. Yes. Go see Soap. They're opening. Love Soap. Um, trying to think of anyone else I would love to see on campus. Probably like unattainable people. Chapel Roan. Chapel Roan. Um, I mean, a dream would be Chapel Roan, honestly. Yes. Like Spring Fest, she should get on that. Watch House. Watch House. If you hear this UVM program board, bring Watch House for Will, please. Please, please do it. They're amazing. I want Zach Fox to come to UVM. Zach Fox, come to UVM. I do really want to see Laundry Day. I feel like oh, they'd be a yes. fun pick for campus. I really like niche people, and I think Adam Melcher would really fit the vibe of Fall or Spring Fest at UVM. Dominic Fike. Uh -huh. Maybe Labyrinth? Post Malone, <laughs> please post. Post Malone, if you see this, Claire and Rebecca please. say, please come please. to UVM, we love post you, you're Malone. biggest we fans. Please, your biggest please, fans. please. For people that I want to come, I think we would have to revive them from the dead okay. or they just would not come to UVM. Okay. But yeah. Very fair, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Logan. It was great to meet you and talk with you today. And go vote. Of course, go vote. Go vote. This week in Burlington, there's plenty of events to enjoy. On Wednesday, Zero Gravity Brewery is hosting an Oktoberfest celebration. On Thursday, South Burlington's Recreation and Parks presents Park Hot Brews, a fun way to explore local parks. UVM weekend starts on Friday and runs through Sunday, offering many activities and events. Lastly, it's International Silent Movie Day at Burlington Beer Co. on Sunday. Coming up next week, we will be talking about housing issues in Burlington and gather opinions from locals. For more information and stories, connect with us on Instagram at Catamounts on the Streets. This is Burlington Buzz. Thank you for watching and see you next Monday.